hello guys uh, welcome to tech design in my previous video i have explained you a sketch tutorials this is the second part of the sketch tutorial please subscribe to my channel for uh, regular updates on unique graphics so quickly we will move on to sketcher environment for the second tutorial so here we go inside the sketcher environment you can see here in this video i'll be showing you how to give a dimensioning and reattach as well as the geometric constraints so you can see here the rapid dimension this is the command which we can use for uh, dimensioning the curves and sketches okay so for example we have a rectangle here okay you can see that auto dimension is coming so i'll just disable it i don't like it okay yeah here we go just delete this sketch okay so i will draw a rectangle okay close it the rapid dimension so initially i will uh, explain you the major dimensioning or linear dimension radial dimension and angular dimension so linear dimension will give you the linear distance between the two points or curves you can see that two points you can able to select and you drag it and paste it you can see that 74 mm is the linear distance either or else you can select entire entity that is a line to give a dimension this is about a linear dimension and a radial dimension i will just uh, make one arc here okay this is a arc so here for the arc you can able to give the real linear dimension if you want to change just edit it to 25 35 so this is all about the radial dimension and the angular dimension as the name suggests it gives the angular dimension between the two lines so you can go to angular dimension select the first line and the second line it will give the dimension the angular dimension if you want you can change it to 45 so this will give the angular dimension dimensioning in nx is very simple as simple as that so on all these three rapid dimension so this will quickly select the required default option for example i will show you i'll just delete these two i'll select the rapid dimension so when the rapid is selected either you can give a radius or else you can give a angular or else you can now able to give a linear dimension as well you can see that once i select the entity it will give the linear dimension if i select two lines it will give the angular dimension similarly for radial dimension so this is all about the dimensioning uh, now we will move on to geometric constraints you can see here the geometric constraint for rapid dimension d is the shortcut whereas for geometric constraint c is the shortcut so i will press c okay okay yeah so when i press c the geometric constraint command will open make sure that automatic selection progression is selected why this should be i will just explain you suppose for example you want to constrain Okay, press C. You want to constrain this point on this line. So you will select a point on a curve. If this is off, you need to select the point and you need to select the, the next option. Then you have to select the line. If this is selected, this will automatically move to the second one and you can select the line. You can see that it will be automatically select the next option so now we will explain how the constraints works <coughs> 
okay here we go c is a geometric constraint so you can see that coincident so this two two points to be coincide so you can select this make sure that automatic selection progression is on select this point and this point you can see that they are coincide each other so if you select this point and this point you can see that it is coincide so the next is the point on curve suppose you want this point to be on any other line then you can use this command you can see that press c point on a curve so this point to be on this line you can see that this is done this is as simple as that okay next we will move on to tangent tangent suppose for there is a circle existing press c select the tangent if you want to make this circle and a line to be tangent select these two it will become a tangent. you can see that this symbol a line gives you a tangent constraint you can always delete that to disable it next is parallel as the name suggests it will give you the parallel lines so this line you want to make it parallel to this line you can do that this is perpendicular this line you want to make perpendicular to this line you can see that perpendicular symbol comes here this is a constraint perpendicular constraint so the next is this is horizontal and this is vertical suppose for example you have a line here and a line here so you want to make this line perpendicular so select a sorry a horizontal need to select a horizontal constraint press this it will be horizontal if you want to make a vertical you can make it this a horizontal a short line at the middle of the line gives you a horizontal constraint this is a vertical constraint if you want to move it it will not rotate because it is horizontally constrained once you delete it then only you can able to change the orientation okay the next next is this is a midpoint so whenever you have a line you can give a midpoint of that you can see that it will be connected to a midpoint this gives you a quick selection purpose the next is collinear collinear is nothing but suppose you have two lines you want to make them so you can select this these two you can see that these two comes in single direction vector so the next is concentric suppose two circles are there you want to make them concentric you can select this and this these two becomes a concentric the next is equal length suppose two lines are existing then you can able to make them equal length suppose this is a little one and this is a bigger one you can make it equal length by selecting these two the length becomes equal similarly for equal radius this will become equal radius for example if you want to make this radius and this radius equal go here and select these two the radius for which you selected the first one will become major diameter so this is all about the sketch or uh, second tutorial on uh, uh, rapid dimensioning and also as geometric constraint the most important point of this um, tutorial is the next command that is reattach this is a huge uh, very tricky command i will just explain you that by deleting the the sketch and i just wanted to make another curve uh, datum here along this line okay okay now go to sketch and i will select this sketch click okay 
suppose okay this circle i draw a circle you can see that the circle is on this plane suppose you want this make this sketch to be on this plane this is already drawn sketch you want to change it you want to reattach to another plane so during this time you can use the reattach command go inside the sketch double click on it go here click on reattach it will ask for the plane on which plane you want to place so i will select this plane you can see that the horizontal reference direction is normal to the sketch plane so you can change the horizontal direction along like this now it will be reattached this is how you can reattach the sketch this is all about the tutorial guys please subscribe to my channel for regular updates thank you